Minnesota Republicans say now is the time to open up Minnesota despite rising numbers of COVID-19 cases. Standing on the steps of the state capitol, Republican leaders of the House and Senate announced a one-page contract to make it happen. Esme Murphy has more on what's in it. Republican legislative leaders say they want the state to reopen now. We think that it's absolutely essential that kids are in school. Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka and House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd unveil the one-page contract that includes allowing kids back in school, allowing all school sports and activities to resume, and allowing local communities to decide bar and restaurant rules. We trust our parents and our school boards, we trust our city councils and our local communities to keep our citizens and our and our kids safe. Senator Gazelka says voters are so angry over the governor's COVID restrictions that he expects in two weeks, voters will elect Republican majorities in both the Minnesota House and Senate. As Republicans made their announcement, Governor Tim Walz was touring Southern Minnesota farms to announce federal COVID aid for local farmers. Walls seemed genuinely frustrated. Well, I don't know, maybe they found the cure for COVID while I was gone down here. The governor says Minnesota is faring better than neighboring states, but warns that could change. I do not want to see, like we're seeing in Wisconsin, a hospital set up on the state fairgrounds. Democrats are also looking hard at control of the legislature this election. They feel pretty good about their 16-seat majority in the Minnesota House. As for the Republicans' three-seat majority in the Senate, Democrats think that is vulnerable, and they believe they can flip the Senate and take control. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. All of Minnesota's 201 state legislatures are up for election in two weeks.